next up as an exercise for attribute binding let's go through a example wherein user can show or hide the password field like show or hide the password he has typed in the password field so i have already imported tailwind we also have font awesome i have the markup ready which is basically a password field and it's in tailwind let's open it in browser so this is my input field password field and what we want is when user clicks on this icon he should be able to see the password and when he clicks again the password should be hidden so basically a toggle field toggle icon for the showing and hiding of the password so let's do it with the help of alpine js first things first let's convert this into a alpine component so we'll say x data and now this div is an alpine component and this will have a single data property named show password which by default is false that means i don't want to show the password by default the user to show and hide the field let's play with this type attribute of the input and we will x bind it to the property show password so now if show password is basically true we want to show the password that means we want it to what to we want it to be a text field and if not if it is false we want it to be a password field that means we don't want to show the password let's go back to the browser and if we type any password by default we aren't showing the password and if we try to change in the property if we try to set it to true it shows the password so basically toggling this changes the type of the input field next up i want to be able to click the icon and then change the type one more thing we can do here is we don't want x bind we can simply use the shorthand now clicking on this input this icon we should be able to toggle the show password property how we can do that is x on click we want show password to be equal to the opposite of show password so we will basically toggle the data property from false to true and true to false now go back to the page and let's try to work it now so we type in the password click here we are able to see the field and click back again we are hiding it one more thing we will need to do here is uh, when we click on this icon we will need to give the feedback to the user that you are currently viewing the password so we will change this icon to i and when he clicks again we will change it back to i slash so we can do it with the attribute binding so let's remove the i slash from here we will add the attribute binding to class and if basically show password is true we will say fai which is the font awesome field for showing an i and if not fai slash basic stuff so we go back here again by default it's i slash that means when user types a password he will not see it when he clicks it we show the i field and he sees the password click back again we hide the password very simple do it in alpine js see you in the next one